What's up guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be ranking the worst and the best roller coasters at Universal Orlando. Just to clarify before I move on with this video, it's basically my least favorite roller coasters and my favorite roller coasters. Now we're gonna start at Islands of Adventure. Number one for Islands of Adventure for me is Flight of the Hippogriff at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. The reason why I picked that as the worst roller coaster at Islands of Adventure because it's not really a roller coaster, it's more of a kid coaster, a, you know, so that's why it's just at my worst roller coaster ranking number two for islands of adventure is the incredible hulk coaster over at marvel island now this coaster used to be my favorite roller coaster it's not anymore because each time that i ride it my head just goes side to side and i'm always getting a headache or a migraine after the fact and that's why i hardly ride that ride um, anymore because it's just it gives me a headache so that's why it's my second least favorite worst roller coasters at Islands of Adventure. Now the third is going to be Hagrid's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure. Now this ride is the second best ride for me at over at Islands of Adventure. Uh, it always has a longer wait depending where you um, when you go during the holiday season or a four day weekend or the summertime. It can reach up to almost 200 minutes in the high peak seasons. But when it's not the high peak season, you can only expect it to go maybe up to like 70 minutes. Technology on that ride is so advanced and it's so cool. Um, if you have not ridden it, I don't wanna spoil it for you guys, but it's so, so awesome. It's a good ride and it's over in Hogsmeade at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. The best roller coaster in my opinion right now, the best at Islands of Adventure is Rep Velocicoaster. The Velocicoaster is something else. I love Hagrid's, but Velocicoaster takes it out of the park really, like, really, really. Coaster is the fastest coaster at Universal Orlando, reaching up to 70 miles per hour. Yes, that's even faster than the Hulk and Rip Ride Rocket, which is in the other park, Universal Studios. I just love Velocicoaster. I love that it's different. I love that, it's, that it doesn't have a harness that goes over your head. It's just your lap, and it's, it's a different coaster. It, it's a different breed of coasters, so that's why it's the best and better roller coaster for me at Islands of Adventure. And stay tuned at the end of the video because I'm gonna be ranking the best roller coaster from Islands and Universal at the end of this video. Worst one for me at Universal Studios Florida number one, that would be Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. Now each time I ride that, they need to switch their track. It's very rough, it's a very rough um, roller coaster. It hurts my thighs each and every time it lifts me up. It just hurts my thighs and that's a, you know like that's like a personal issue and stuff like that but at the same time it's my least favorite coaster um at universal um so yeah that's why i have it at the worst at universal studios florida the second coaster that i have is over at Diagon Alley, which is Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts. This coaster is cool it's very cool and it's very immersive and 3d ride you know like with a roller coaster the thing is it's so short and i wish at the end it like it gives me like a sense of like butterflies in my stomach at the end and it just wants me like i'm inching for more coaster time and it doesn't give it to you so you like you have to go in line again to like redo the ride and that's what makes the ride special but at the same time i wish it was it was like it was longer. Best, best at Universal Studios Florida, in my opinion, is Revenge of the Mummy. Revenge of the Mummy was one of my first coasters as a kid. Um, it actually introduced me as um, an indoor um, roller coaster that never went upside down, but it was a cool, cool coaster. I just love the series of The Mummy and that's why I have a strong attachment to Revenge of the Mummy coaster at Universal Studios Florida in the New York area. I just love it so, so much, so that's why it's the best and ranking at the best at Universal Studios. Now, as I promised you at the end of the video, I'm gonna be putting together my number one best coasters at Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios Florida. I chose for Islands of Adventure as the best coaster is Velocicoaster, and the best at Universal Studios Florida is Revenge of the Mummy. And bumping heads for me, obviously Velocicoaster goes faster. I'm gonna be choosing, even though Revenge of the Mummy is like a childhood coaster for me, I will go with Velocicoaster all day. The immersiveness on that ride, the way the ride moves, it's just, it's different. It has, 
you can go upside down and it just has different effects than the mummy. Monster Coaster All Day wins number one roller coaster at Universal Orlando Resort, both parks combined. Let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite roller coasters at Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios Florida. Before you leave the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button as I do videos here in the studio of tips and tricks like this video. And I actually go out to the theme parks like Universal Orlando, Disney, Busch Gardens, and SeaWorld, and all other places around the world. So with that being said, go live life, do what you love, and remember, always follow your dreams. Bye guys.